Hello everyone, my name is Shottam Raha and welcome to my channel. So I'm going to create a new series on logic building, right? So what is logic building? It is basically a way to write a program on your own. Okay. Meaning, suppose I have given you a problem. So you need to convert or you need to find a solution first, right? And that is called an algorithm. And that algorithm is nothing but a step-by-step -step way of how to solve that particular problem. And now that particular algorithm should be converted to a program, right? In, in any language, maybe Java, maybe C, whatever you want. But that has to be converted. But, you know, you you can learn many programming languages that is not an issue you can learn c you can learn c plus plus you can learn java you can learn python but nowadays python is introduced in class 11 of cvsc right and it is pretty pretty easy it's it's simply a cup of tea and that's not an issue to learn a programming language but unless and until you know how to think how to convert your thinking to the program you you are of no use right uh, what i mean is uh, it's like if you know a programming language it it means you have the weapon right but you have to know how to fight right otherwise it's that weapon is of no use isn't it so basically it is more important to learn to fight rather than to grab that weapon you can use anything as a weapon but uh, maybe C, maybe Java, maybe Python, maybe some new language that comes on the way. But you have to know how to fight. You have to know how to write a code, right? You, you have to know how to build logic. You have to find a solution to your problem. If you cannot find a solution to the problem, what's the use of a programming language? Isn't it? Although maybe you are very, very good with, very fluent with uh, Java, for example. What's the use if you cannot write a program on your own, right? That's of no use. So I have, as a student, I have uh, searched over the internet um, and I didn't come across not a one video that, that actually teaches me how to think or how to write logic, not a single program. I have come across many videos, many blogs, which has given me the code. Okay. But I didn't come across how to think. So I, I think that it is very important now that I make some videos on how to actually build your logic, build your own logic and not copy someone else's code. Right. You can find you can find many codes on Stack Overflow or Geeks for Geeks and you, you are just copying and pasting it. Even I did that a lot. Right. And that is fine if it is for a very, very small thing, maybe for a sorting program. Yes, it is fine. Maybe to find uh, uh, some some very. Uh, what should I say? Very simple logic maybe to find uh, to reverse a number. Yes, there are inbuilt functions for that. But that is not what I want. What I want is or what is important is how to write your own code. Even reversing a, a number should be done by you. Otherwise, what is the use of learning a programming language? What if I ask you to find if a number is palindrome or not? What will you do? You will be um, like you will be dependent on the reverse function or maybe convert it to string or or do whatever task you do but you need to come up with some ideas on your own that is very important and that is where logic is important and you see logic is not something which i can feed you or which i can teach you right i i cannot do that directly then what's the purpose of this series so what i think is Follow me. I will show you how I think. Okay. I'll simply not write the code and uh, give it to you. I'll not do that. 
I will write the code fresh, okay, hands on, live, okay, uh, and I will not copy the code. I promise. I will write it on your on my own while recording the video, and I will tell you what I am thinking, how I am going to solve a particular problem. So basically, this playlist is just the start of your journey towards coding okay you have maybe learned a lot of languages but i want you to write your own code okay and that is very important maybe i will uh, do some competitive coding uh, on the later part of this series but at the beginning i will start with patterns now pattern programming is very important when it comes to logic building right uh, if you if you can think how a pattern is implemented because the entire programming is 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 what should i say is relying on a, a base thing which is pattern right we find some patterns in a problem and we code it in a programming language if there is no pattern there is no use of writing a code right for example say factorial how to find a factorial right if i do not have a particular pattern how can i tell the computer to do it right it has there has to be a pattern say for the fibonacci series there is a pattern there is a logic isn't it so everything is dependent on a pattern so if you can write a pattern program i think half of your problem is solved right away okay and that's why in the beginning of this series i will start with some patterns very basic patterns and slowly i'll move towards some complex patterns and obviously in each of the videos all of the videos in this series will only be discussing i'll be discussing only about one pattern in one video okay and the only reason is the video uh, on a single pattern uh, i'll be discussing how i am going to solve that problem okay that is my main motto it's not about solving many patterns and giving the answers to you no that is not my issue my only motto is to make you aware of how i think while solving a particular program right and one more thing in this series i'll be using java as a programming language and uh, you can come up with come up with any language that is up to you the logic will be same right the syntax may be different but the logic will be same so let's get started see you in the next video all the best.